Well, the raising of the flag on Iwo Jima is certainly one of the most iconic images in American history, but also one that's seen its fair share of controversy. The act of those fearless American soldiers scaling that mountain has been immortalized, but the question remains just who were those soldiers holding up Old Glory? Blaine Singletary gives us a look at the legacy and the scrutiny. It was a major act of patriotism that took place over seven decades ago, and it was all caught on camera. You get it? I don't know. Wish I could have seen your faces. The raising of the flag on Mount Suribachi on the island of Iwo Jima was a symbol of victory after a long, bloody battle. It single-handedly reinvigorated a war-weary America the moment it hit the press. The right picture can win or lose a war. You're going to want to see this. One of the men who survived Iwo Jima and was part of the flag raising that day was Navy Corpsman John Bradley. His son, James, went on to tell the story of those fearless few in his book Flags of Our Fathers that was later adapted to the silver screen. <laughs> we sat down with James last year on the 70th anniversary of that fateful day. I'm one of the few who doesn't speculate why yeah, the photo is so beloved by Americans, but I know that the second it appeared, I mean, it was front page newspapers all across the country. The public went nuts. There were tens of thousands of requests for reprints of the photos. It's the most reproduced photo in history. But recently, the photos have returned to the headlines as an age old question resurfaced. Just who were these soldiers? Associated Press photographer Joe Rosenthal didn't have a chance to get their names, as it was an active battlefield. Bradley's father was long believed to be one of the handful of soldiers in the photo, but now that's being called into question. What we do know is that Bradley was part of the first flag raising that day. Another larger flag was ordered to be put in its place about two hours later, which is when the photo was taken. Nobody even noticed that second flag going up. Everybody saw that damn picture and made up their own story about it. But your dad and the others knew what they had done and what they had not done. But in 2014, two amateur historians noticed something a little off. By comparing other photos of Bradley from that day in 1945, they came to the conclusion that it wasn't him. And instead, 5th Division Marine Harold Schultz. Part of the reason questions still remain to this day is the fact that this moment was just one part of an otherwise chaotic battle. These were just kids, and they were just in from a horrible battle and suffering from various levels of PTSD. And after muddling through the fog of war, they weren't even sure who was to their right or left at that moment. Moreover, some soldiers, like Ira Hayes, didn't want to be recognized. It just was not part of his existence. In the family house, in the cottage, and in my dad's business, there were no flag-raising photos anywhere. If my dad had walked into one of our dorms at college and seen a flag-raising photo, he probably would have walked out. Bradley says that meant getting information out of his father to write the book was a challenge, and most of it didn't go to paper until after he passed away in 1994. What I found is the closer you're to a massacre, your friends screaming to death, guys dying all around you, the more you're not going to talk about it. You don't want to raise those devils in your dreams. You want to get over it. You want to get rid of it. And you don't want to cry in front of your kids. Bradley was initially skeptical about the new claims, but since reviewing the evidence, he has stated in an interview with CBS News that he has his doubts as to whether his father was part of the second, more widely seen flag raising. But at the end of the day, regardless of whether or not those soldiers were on top Mount Suribachi or somewhere else on the island of Iwo Jima, they were all heroes, many of whom gave the ultimate sacrifice. He saw the heroes of Iwo Jima as the guys who didn't come back. So to be called a hero for doing something that was not particularly heroic didn't make a lot of sense to him. It's all a part of the present day battle Bradley and other historians, both amateur and professional face, to keep history alive. 
Now, the U.S. Marine Corps has launched an official inquiry into the Iwo Jima flag raising and is expected to rule on the matter later this year.